my hope is if you ever feel alone, you will look at this poster and see 513 of your fans who love you like no other. 2020, in my mind, was going to be the year that changed my life. Definitely didn't go as planned. I didn't even have a fan base, I would say. I had fans. If I keep going and I keep going and I keep going, eventually something's gonna have to happen. There has to be a door that eventually opens, you know. My um, team kept telling me to go on TikTok, go on TikTok, go on TikTok. Yeah, I do TikTok, it's just, you know, it's trending, everyone's doing it. They're literally just online, making videos, do, hanging out with the people that they have to hang out with or following the trends that they have to do, and I wasn't doing that. I needed to be a great artist. In order to be a great artist, what, what was instilled in me was you work on your music, you dance lessons, vocal lessons, you record, you know what I mean? You make great videos, you you don't do dumb things to become famous. That's not, that's not how I was raised, you know? You work hard to see your dreams come true. And so I never wanted to do the social media stuff because to be honest, I always thought it was silly. I loved my favorite artists, but there was always a mystery. Like I didn't know everything about them. I didn't know when they were going to the bathroom. People don't want to just see you anymore. Just go on stage, you know, in a fancy costume with the dancers and light them up. They don't. The pressure of wanting to be a great music artist, but knowing that I have to do certain things to make this all work. What am I supposed to do? But at the same time, I kept telling myself that I've been doing this I'm, since I'm 12 years old, you know? I was a insecure, chubby kid, you know, that just loved to sing and dance. So this is gonna be Gabby and Lexi. That's what happens when you're missing people. <laughs> you use props. <laughs> there, that's a person. This is another person. You know, I'm, about, I'm gonna do that in a second. I just wanna finish this side. And, then and you know, putting out a record does take a lot of money. Putting together the record costs me thousands of dollars by the time it's produced, mixed, you know, writing sessions, whatever it is. They're like my babies, you know, and so it is hard when you just put something out and it doesn't do well, you know, and not because it's not a good record. Nobody heard it. <laughs> what are you doing, you know? You're spending all of your money, you have no savings, you have, nothing to show you know you just literally have this dream that you're just going and going and going and along the way people keep questioning you and saying well hasn't he gotten the hint that this isn't going to happen i mean you've been doing it for so long you know like that that's what's in people's minds like how much longer are you going to keep pushing it was more depressed than people would know you know i some days like literally just wouldn't even want to get out of bed you know i I don't know when it's going to be, I don't know how long it's going to take, there's going to be a thousand disappointments, a million no's. I want to make music that makes people want to dance. I'm doing it because I want young kids to, you know, dance to my songs the way that I dance to Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson videos and I'm not happy with performing for 500 people. I want to perform for 20,000 people. That's my dream. I want to create things that make you feel young again and be a light in a dark time. They told me my dreams were too big. They said this moment would never happen. I am living proof. If you believe in your dreams, anything is possible. And I share that with all of you guys tonight, so thank you. You get ads and brands and deals by numbers because they're like, you know what? This person's gonna get this many people to see it. I'm literally living proof, you know? I went from zero followers on TikTok in February, you know, to now almost 700,000 in one year. I'm gonna use it to my advantage as part of my story. I sold more merchandise in one day than I did in the previous 10 years. What he's done is he's kind of went within, and even though it's pressure, he has, for lack of better term, strangers that became family. When he is under that pressure, he draws from them that inspiration. <laughs> What I decided to do this year was a lot of remakes. I still wanted to put out music. I didn't want to put out my original stuff, but I wanted to give music to people. I Feel For You, which was a remake originally of Prince, then Chaka Khan. So I did that, and then I did Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. Both records were in the top 20 of the iTunes pop charts, which was insane. I do have a couple of original singles out. Uh, my Probably my strongest one or my biggest one is Stuck On You. 
I had another record I put out called Say Less, and then that record happened to chart in literally all because of my fans. That's literally how many pre-orders I had on those records. That The day that those records came out, they were already so high on the iTunes charts. I wanted to do like a Janet Jackson type of tribute. She's always one of my favorite artists. We were only able to do one rehearsal for like, I want to say like four or five hours. And I've got lots of it. When I was 17, not do what people told me. Huh. Hey. Do what my father said, and then my mother Shot the video, and I knew that when, when we shot it, I was just so excited. I'm like, it's sick, like I love it, it's gonna be dope. Posted the video, had you know my fans and stuff taking Janet Jackson, Janet Jackson, Janet Jackson a million times. A couple days later, I get a call. I'm in my backyard. Janet Jackson posted your video. When I tell you, <laughs> I lost my mind. You know, could you imagine you're a kid? You know, this is like my idol. You know, has seen me. That's what I really kept thinking. Like, Janet Jackson watched me, you know? <laughs> I'll show you is. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of letters over the past couple of months that people have sent me. I'm normally sobbing uh, when I read the letters. Uh, this is me and these are all of my fans that participated in being part of this. Um, what could be more special than you know seeing something like this especially after you know wondering if I'm ever going to you know, connect with people if I'm ever going to make it, if I'm ever going to see my dream come true. And then, you know, I see something like this and it's like, what, what more motivation do you need? Or, you know, like this, these are the things that when I'm having, you know, an awful day or questioning and I see these, I see something like this, I just know that I got to keep going. <laughs>